This is the Behringer X32 digital console, and this is the, uh, the second video today. Uh, the first video was to uh, basically wipe the, uh, the scene clean for factory preset um, to initialize everything. Uh, bring in the uh, EQs and compressors and everything off and start from scratch. Uh, the second video, basically, I'm going to set up preferences uh, post EQ, subgroups, and uh, post fader for monitors, subgroups, or inserts, and effects. To do this, in the screen button we're going to select setup and from that screen we're on the global tab. Um, that's where we initiated the um, wipe of the console. We're going to see this page select button, tab over one to config. And on the lower right hand side you'll see some uh, bus pre-configurations. There's 8, 0, and 8, 10, 0, and 6, 8, 4, and 4, 6, 6, and 4, 4, 8, and 4. Uh, the first is the um, post EQ. As you can see here. We're going to actually show you. We're going to go to the select button and spin it. And go down to what I normally use is the 6 six and four and press that. Boom. Do I want it? Yes. Dang. And you notice on the right hand side in the very grayed out uh, uh, print is uh, basically a configuration that we just selected. Six, six and four. The first six is post EQ, the next six are subgroups, and the last six the last four are post fader. Um, so the first six is basically monitored, the next six are um, subgroups that we can insert uh, common compressors and EQs and, and such. And the last four would be, uh, EQ, would be effects and, and things of that nature. So uh, we set the, uh, the board up as follows. Now, in order to do things such as assign subgroups, we go into the Master sections here. Click the first bus because the, the first bus is actually DCAs. The second bus would be uh, buses, bus one through eight, and the second one under that should be the third one total is bus nine through sixteen. So going back to the first set of buses, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six, or um, post EQ, which we're going to use for monitors. The next six, one, which will be seven, eight, click this button, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, would be set for a subgroup, and the last four are effects. So, uh, first thing I would do, go back to the, the initial eight, and these last two here are the first two of my subgroups. So I'd want to change the color. By doing so, I'd have to go back up to the screen, go to Scribble, and here, with this knob here, Select knob, we can assign different colors, different text and such. So we're going to select 7, bus 7, and back up on the screen, we're going to rotate up to, say, yellow, and press. Press the knob. And that now becomes yellow. Eight. Go to the screen. Press it. And that two becomes yellow. So you can tell that the, the first six are monitors and the next two are different, which we're going to make them subgroups. Going to the second set of eight. These four are also subgroups, so we're going to turn them the same way. Select the yellow, boom, select yellow, select yellow, and 
select yellow. It, it just makes it a lot easier to do. on the fly to be able to look over and know that these are monitors, these are groups, and these are my effects. How you would assign the channels to the groups are as follows. You would select a group, boom, you hit the send zone fader button, and now all the channels uh, have uh, muted buttons on them, and you basically just deselect the mute buttons that you want associated to that group. Then you deselect the send a fader button, and there you have it. So now channel one is associated to uh, subgroup one, or it's actually bus seven, but that's our first subgroup. For the second subgroup, select, sends the fader, we're going to deselect the mute on the second fader, and that's it. We can actually select as many as we want, but we'll just put today to smooth that and deselect the send the faders. Now how's it set up is bring the faders up, subgroup up, and uh, stereo fader up. Um, but we're still not done. Basically, when you, when you start these uh, factory presets, every channel home runs to left and right. So in order to assign them effectively to a subgroup, you have to remove the assignment left or right on the channels so that the, um, the subgroups can uh, take over. Otherwise, you'd bring up a fader and it would go straight to left and right, and you'd bring up the subgroup that would go left to right. You would really wouldn't be able to assign them that way. So, there's many ways to do it. Um, basically, if you select the channel, you'll notice over here, on the main bus on the console, it illuminates stereo bus. So by deselecting that on a channel, you've now just deselected this channel to go no longer go directly to left and right. Same with this channel. Channel two is selected. Notice the stereo bus is now illuminated. By deselecting that button, now Channel 2 goes to its assigned subgroup, and from there, we're going to assign it to the left and right. Selecting subgroup 1. Now we can assign it to stereo left and right. We're going to go to subgroup 2, assign that to left and right. And now, effectively, channels 1 and 2 go to subgroups 1 and 2. From subgroups 1 and 2, they're assigned to left and right. And that's the end of this video.